Okay, that's quite interesting. When I studied my master degree with my supervisor, he was sent by the Chinese government to South Africa because the law here is very supportive to Chinese medicine. The African medicine and Chinese medicine, because we are both traditional medicine, we also use herbal medicine for a variety of ailments. The local people in Africa continent, they can use Chinese medicine because we have been benefiting from Chinese medicine for thousands of years. They knew about the herbs, but Chinese medicine from Asia is very different. You know, some, some patients came to us, asked me to do spiritual purifiers. I said, no, we don't do this here. They're not Chinese medicine, we don't pray. So in Chinese medicine, there is no spiritual parts. There is no myth. We use the medical parts only. So for these 2,000 years, we keep the medical parts. We get rid of the spiritual parts. It's interesting enough in China, if you want to study Chinese medicine, you need to study Western medicine. So I practice cardiologists in China and Chinese medicine. That's also the only way to be safe to combine them. So we think if you, you can't move or something wrong there, there may be a blockage there on the meridian. All over our body, there's about 365 spots, which is the switches, which means you need to know which switch is for which problem. So we use acupuncture or herbal medicine to unblock the channel. Within one week or even one month, we can get very good results. They fully recovered. So I hope Chinese medicine that one day that people hear, they will learn, they knew how to use Chinese medicine and people from South African or African continents, they can benefit from Chinese medicine.